Ellen and today let's learn how to play Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars on the guitar. Here's a quick overview of everything I'll be covering in this tutorial today and with that being said let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys so you only need to know three chord shapes to play through this song and we're going to start with our D major which looks like this and sounds like this. By the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts you're seeing on screen, I do cover how to do that in my beginner course, so make sure to check that out here. The next chord shape is our B minor. And then the last chord shape is our G. And those are the only chords you need to know to play through this song. So if any of these chord shapes are new to you, go ahead and make sure to pause the video and just take a second to memorize how they look, as well as practice transitioning back and forth between them. The song is super repetitive in the chord structure, so as long as you can transition from D to B minor to G back to D, you can play through the whole song. So if transitioning is something that you need help with, make sure to check out my Practice With Me series where we build that skill together. Um, but after you do that, we can go ahead and talk about the strumming pattern. All right guys, so for the strumming, I did come up with something that I think sounds really good with this song, um, but I am gonna teach you kind of like an easier version and then a harder version. So this is the easier version on screen right now. So let's go ahead and zoom in and talk about the rhythm. All right guys, so we are gonna be counting this in a 16th note rhythm today. So if you don't know what that means or how to count that, make sure to check out my free beginner course because we do cover that there. But basically, let's go ahead and break down this rhythm. We have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. All right, so one, two, a, E and four down, down, up, up, down, down. Now we are going a little bit under tempo. This song, if you wanted to play this full strumming pattern, you would have to go a little bit faster. So at more of a full speed, it would sound like this. One, two, up, E and four. One, two, up, E and four. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Down, down, up, up, down, down. And now to play through the whole song, you would basically take this strumming pattern and play it two times per chord. So like I said earlier, this structure of the song is really simple. It's just D, B minor, G, back to D for the entire song. So you just want to pair this pattern through twice with each chord. So we're gonna start with our D chord. Down, down, up, up, down, down, twice. Then you go to your next chord, B minor. Down, down, up, up, down. our G chord, same pattern, back to D. All right, and you could use this strumming pattern to play through the entire song if you wanted to. Um, however, like I said, this is kind of like the easier version. I actually like to play more of a full pattern when I play through it. So let me go ahead and show that to you now. So as you can see, I've added a few extra down and up strums in here. So now the full rhythm is gonna sound more like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. I know it seems pretty complicated, but I think once you internalize the rhythm, it's not as bad. So down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. All right, and again at full tempo, it would sound more like this. One and two, up E and four and a, one and So if you can manage to put all of those down and up strums in, I do think it matches the feel of this song really well because it kind of sounds really happy and bouncy. And so basically, same thing applies here as with the easier version. You want to play through this pattern two times per chord. So we have D. Twice. Then you go to your B minor. G, two times, back to D. All right, so once you get that pattern down, all you wanna do is just speed it up a little by little until you can play it more at full speed. So if you were to sing it at the original tempo, it would sound more like this.
you could sing that for the entire, or you could use this pattern for the entire song. With the chorus, it would sound more like this. When I see your face totally understand that if you are a beginner this strumming pattern can seem very daunting so just make sure to pause the video and take as much time as you need to really internalize that strumming rhythm and make sure also you understand how to count that strumming rhythm um, and then as you start to play through it more and more it'll become more like muscle memory in your strumming hand and it'll be a little bit easier and you won't be like counting each beat so rigidly it'll take some time and getting used to but I promise if you put in the practice time that it will come more naturally soon enough but once you have that strumming pattern down, we can actually talk a little bit about a picking pattern that you can do as well. And guys, really quick before we jump into the rest of the video, I wanted to take a second to kind of sponsor myself. If you are struggling with anything that you've encountered in this tutorial so far, like the strumming rhythms, the chord transitions, bar chords, things like that, if you have questions about anything, you can always send me a video of whatever you're working on and whatever questions you have, and I will send you a video response back. And this is just one of the perks that I offer through my Patreon page, as well as many more. So I will make sure to link that in the description box below if you want to check it out. It's a great way to help support my channel so I can continue making videos just like this one while also getting your hands on some exclusive perks that I have for all of my patrons. So I hope that you'll check that out. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the picking pattern. All right, guys, so this picking pattern is gonna be totally optional, but if you are somebody who likes to finger pick, I think that this sounds really pretty with the intro as well as the outro of the song. It kind of leads in and fades out really nicely. So let's go ahead and zoom in and look at this tab. All right, guys, so first of all, if you're not sure how to read guitar tabs, I did make a pretty cool video right here that explains the basics of how to do that. So I would recommend checking that out first. Um, but then once you understand that, we can come back and take a look at this tab. So basically what we wanna do is we're going to do a little bit of an arpeggio up and down each of these chords. So starting with our D chord, you're just going to put the D chord shape on your left hand. And with your right hand, what I want you to do is take your pointer, middle, and ring finger, and you're gonna lay those on the bottom three strings, the G, B, and the E strings, and they're gonna kind of stay there this whole time that we're picking. Your thumb is gonna cover the bass note. So in our D chord, the bass note is our fourth D string. So that's where my thumb's gonna go. But again, these three fingers are gonna stay on the bottom three strings. So basically, all you wanna do is you're gonna start with the bass note thumb, then pick each finger going down the guitar. All right, just like that. And remember, you wanna assign one finger to one string. And then you wanna come, after you go down the guitar, you wanna come back up. Three, two, oh. All right, so that's the whole arpeggio. And you wanna do that twice, just like we did with the strumming. the same for the other chords as well. So we have our B minor chord next. Now remember, these three fingers are gonna stay on the bottom three strings, but now your thumb's gonna move to the new bass note, which is that A string, all right? But the pattern is the same, so we have. All right, and you wanna do that twice. And then we go to our G chord, same thing. These three fingers are still on the bottom three strings, but now your thumb is on this low E string because that's the bass. But again, the pattern is exactly the same. All right. And then you just go back to D. Like I said, the whole song repeats in that order for chords, so you would just repeat it over and over. So all together, the entire picking tab sounds like this. And 
like I said, I think it sounds really pretty with the intro. <laughs> go into the strumming. Her eyes, her eyes, make the stars look like they're not shining. All right. And again, you could use this for the outro as well. The last time he sings through it, it's the chorus. It sounds really romantic. When I see your face, there's not a thing that I would change, because you're amazing. Just the So basically those are the two places I would recommend using the picking pattern if you wanted to venture into that. Otherwise you could totally do strumming for the entire song. So go ahead and pause the screen and just take as much time as you need to to learn through this picking slash tab portion. And then once you have that down under your belt, then we can go ahead and play through the song. One, two, ready, go. Uh... jamming out to the rest of the song with me? Then make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can unlock access to this as well as all my other fast track and play along guitar tutorials. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box down below. If you enjoyed learning this song with me, then you should definitely check out this video. Not only does it have a really similar vibe, but it's just as easy to play, so I'll see you over there. Bye!